I've been trying to paint in a loose fashion and I think I have achieved that to a certain degree. So I like color, I like looseness, I like abstracting my subject as well. Forever I've loved drawing with charcoal, I like the idea of working in black and white because you can really get um, the, you know, a great contrast going and so on. But I obviously love color too. But I, I had been to a workshop, it was a wonderful workshop with uh, Leia Evelyn. She's an abstract painter who lives in Nova Scotia. She's wonderful. She gave us a series of exercises to do over the four days and wow, I, I learned so much. For me, you know, on the last day the aha moment really came and that was she set up this still life for us to sketch and she said the only thing I want you to know, you know, and you can use color in this and paint, whatever, but I want the end product to be so abstracted that the viewer cannot tell what you were looking at. And that was a big challenge, right? Because, you know, there was a jug and a bottle and, and a teddy bear and other things. But it was such a good exercise, it was such a good skill, because that's really what I want to do. I want to be able to look at things and forget that they are a tree or a flower or whatever. Um, but I want to sort of look at the essence of the thing and look at the lines in it and the curves and the movement of it and try to reproduce that rather than a literal... Um, representation of the thing. If I want a literal representation, I'll take a photograph. When you look at things in nature, or you see a scene, it's just so gorgeous, and then you snap a picture, and then you look at the picture, and you think, no, that isn't really how it looked. It looked so much more. And I think, I don't know, the so much more is the sound, the atmosphere, the smells and all those other sensual things that are happening at the same time as you're seeing the picture, I would like to be able to incorporate that in painting while I'm painting, to be able to transmit those feelings that I'm feeling about what I'm seeing into the painting. And it's, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough thing to do. One way to do it is to abstract the scene a little bit. So anyway, back to this still life we were painting. So Leia said, I don't want to see your end result look. I don't want to be able to pick out the elements that were in this. I just want you to focus on the lines and the shapes and use those lines and shapes in your painting. And then this is the painting that I came up with. I think at first glance you can't tell <laughs> what it is, although I can tell that this was the jug. This is the lip of the jug. When this was finished, I just, I love the colors in it, I love the texture in it, the shapes, and uh, you know, it's just an exercise, but it did make me think, wow, maybe this is how I can approach or maybe I can take some of this information out with me when I'm doing a landscape or even um, an interior scape or a portrait or whatever. It was an exciting thing for me. So I came home, we uh, Skyped our son who's living in Hanoi right now and voila there it was. Um, on the screen there was a little uh, box in the corner of, of the screen with Larry and I with a picture of us in our dining room with you know the kitchen in the background and all the cupboards and so on. And I was just fascinated looking at this little vignette, all the shapes and the lights and the darks and I got out my black marker and a um, sketchbook and quickly did a sketch of of the darkest darks really because it's 
you know, there's no gradation in the drawing. And then I thought, I love this. I love how all those shapes go. The other thing that was exciting about that little little snippet is that it, it went from this golden color down to a dark blue and you know would how could I work that in and and be really spare with my colors. I put it on a canvas and have started to work on it and I'd like to now and work up a series of of scenes that are based on black and white um, sketches for charcoals. And because next year in October I'm having a show of work here in Bear River, October 2018, at Sisabu Coffee Bar and Gallery. I've had work there before and I'm going to have work there again, provided that the next couple of canvases work out. If they don't work out or if I lose interest or whatever, then I'll be looking at a different subject to paint. But right now I'm really excited about this. So I have to thank going to this workshop because it sort of kick-started me. I wrote in one of my blog posts some time back that one of the ways to get yourself going again is to take a workshop. There's nothing to lose. It's a bit intimidating. Even for me it was a bit intimidating. But it's wonderful. You, it just, you know, helps you think and see things in a different way. You get all kinds of uh, inspiration watching what everyone else is doing and how they are interpreting the instructions you're being given. And of course having a wonderful um, a very accomplished artist such as Leah Evelyn lead it is also like pretty exciting too. Okay that's it for now I'll keep you posted. Bye bye. You can see that in this painting I have um, oh my god I love this painting. <laughs> Sorry. Squirrel! <laughs> Who says that? <laughs>